you and I have talked a lot about the tenancy spectrum. Where do private notes fit on that spectrum and what new use cases does this unlock? Yeah, private notes is very, very interesting. It, you know, it kind of turns V cluster into something different than it was for years. Because so far in people's heads, V cluster is a cluster in a cluster. And the V cluster uses the nodes of the underlying cluster. To some extent, we're creating somewhat of a hybrid now. So you still have the control planes, the V cluster control planes, the V cluster pods, they still run on top of a Kubernetes cluster. So there is a host cluster already existing. It can be pretty much any cluster that it's like, you know, OpenShift or Rancher or just a vanilla bare metal, you know, Kubernetes cluster, whatever, whatever Kubernetes distro you're using, um, you can spin up V cluster control planes on top of that. The traditional shared node or dedicated node V cluster would use the nodes from the underlying host cluster now. But with private nodes, uh, you get a different option. What you can do is you can take a VM or you can do, you know, a bare metal machine and you can join it directly into the V cluster. So only this V cluster has this node. This node is not part of any other Kubernetes cluster. It's not part of the host cluster, no other V cluster, no host cluster, nothing can reach it. That node is completely private to this particular V cluster. It's essentially under the hood, you know, if you imagine like cube ADM join, right? The command you would run to join a regular node into a regular traditional Kubernetes cluster, we use something similar and we're kind of building on top of this in V cluster, but we're making it even easier. We're streamlining a lot of things. We're automating a lot of things for you. So it's a single command you run on any VM or any bare metal machine to join it, you know, as a private node into your V cluster. And that effectively gives you a completely single tenant cluster, but your control planes, they still run on top of a shared cluster. So you have this control plane cluster that could host, you know, clusters that, you know, sync pods and use the nodes of the underlying cluster. But then you have other, you know, V clusters, which actually have private nodes for more isolation and stricter uh, separation of, of these workloads. 